Socks and five You really were the greatest son Should she not on the summer stay Tom has played a set here at least. What brings you here, Tom? Well, I've played in the White Horse a few times. I know Ed, and he said, I'll come on and play our festival. And I thought that would seem like an opportunity that was too good to miss. And I've got this new band. We've only been doing it for six months. And so it's really nice to play such a nice community festival. And also, uh, the production values are really good. The sight lines are really good. And the sound's really good. So it was just a real pleasure to come and support your, you know, your charity festival. It's really nice. The seventh, eighth year Lee stopped now and it grew from one of those little gigs in a pub. The audience we got here today are thoroughly enjoying it, you could see that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Tell us a bit about your set. Well, I used to be a singer in Spiral Carpets. I was in the band from 1989 to 2011, which pretty much encompasses all the time that the band was successful. Uh, they're still going on without me, but I've been solo really much for 15, pretty much for 15 years. Uh, I've written a book about Spiral Carpets called Carpet Burns. I run my own label, uh, so you can get the stuff on iTunes, or you can get it from the shop, uh, or you can get listen to it on Spotify. So I do this pretty much full time. And, really and you're off to Southampton shortly. Doing a gig with Talking Heads, so we have to go very soon. Yeah. <laughs> so are we just doing occasional gigs or have we got something going on around? I do 150 gigs a year. We're doing, we're trying to do about 30 or 40 gigs with the band this year, but it's not easy out there. You know, we're kind of trying to, we're not doing what in Spiral Carbs is. It's more of a rock band. It's more of a punky kind of ble electric blues band. It's a bit more, I'm 50 years, I'm nearly 50 years old and I want to, not trying to be like I'm 18, you know. So just tell us a bit about the band. You got drummer, you got uh, bass. Well, Malcolm Law. He's uh, lives in Bury. Uh, he does. He runs a kind of music night in the pub. And Steve Pierce, a bass player, is an ex student of mine. So uh, he's been working for me for a while. So we just decided to put a band together. And we don't play back catalogue. We just play new stuff. We don't play uh, in Swell Carbon stuff. We just play new stuff. It's like a new page. Really. This is how it feels to be small. This is how it feels when your word means nothing at all. Keep on solid. Now you see a lot of young talent coming through now with your years of experience and knowledge within the music business. If you had three things to say to any up and coming musician, what would you have to share? Don't listen to old blokes with beards, would probably be the first bit of advice. Secondly, uh, not everything's on the internet. So like still worth putting up posters and things like that. And the third thing is do music to have fun, do music to create meaning in your life. You know, a lot of people want to be the next oasis, but that's, you know, in the reality, sad reality of it, that's not gonna happen. So you should just play music to find meaning in your life. I've had a very lucky life and I suppose what all that bound boils down to is one thing which is expect nothing and be grateful for everything you get it sounds a bit spinal tap that in fact it sounds, it sounds a bit in spiral tap but you know be grateful for everything you get and don't expect anything and if you have that attitude in music or which is pretty much anything you'll be okay